quick Hyperion update. Um, we've, we've, we have a final draft uh, that Elias and I reviewed this morning uh, for the amendment to Dr. Stenstrom's contract. As you know, what we're, we're um, bringing on an additional consultant that will work with Dr. Stenstrom more on the day-to-day the -day operations, monitoring the operations, reporting to us uh, about what Hyperion is doing, are they meeting schedules, and also ultimately we'll be working with us on a preventive maintenance plan for the property. So that contract um, amendment is, is in place, and actually I think our kickoff meeting is this Thursday. Um, as you know, and I think um, Councilmember Baldino mentioned that the, there's a uh, AQMD board hearing on November 19th, uh, we sent the letter uh, with certain recommendations to AQMD last week, and, and actually we're gonna send it again this week, just as a reminder. Um, over the past two weeks, AQMD received, believe it or not, 110 odor complaints. A uh, number, it was a, it's a big number. Um, a lot of it had to do with the um, October 30th, um, uh, red algae bloom that um, was discovered in the Santa Monica Bay and it really contributed a lot to the, to the odors um, that, that emanated and folks obviously thought it was from Hyperion. Um, the, on October 25th, uh, they inf uh, Hyperion informed us that they conducted a planned evaluation of the plant's intermediate pump page uh, and began necessary repairs on that. Um, they also had, uh, there was also high H2S readings from the South Monitoring Station that uh, they told us was caused by the purging of gas inside one of the biological reactors. Um, since the purge readings, uh, since that, they, they repaired that in the purge, uh, since the, the purge, the readings have returned to normal. And um, also temporary insulation material was placed um, to mitigate noise at the north side of a, a digester mixer. So they are uh, working on things. Uh, communication has been a little better, but we still have to prod them to, to, to keep, keep us apprised of things. And we're hoping that with the new addition of the consultant that's going to help Dr. Stenstrom, we'll get even better communication. 